first ascent. You got a rope. <laughs> Hopping ashore, we soon find ourselves surrounded by great, implacable rocky peaks. There isn't a tree in sight and little vegetation of any kind. This feels like an alien, hostile environment. And then we come in view of the last loch of this grand tour, Loch Kurusk, which in Gaelic means the quarry of the waters. To my mind, this is the most dramatic stretch of fresh water in Britain. It's actually 150 foot deeper than sea level. Is it really? Yeah, the ice <laughs> has scooped it right out. After a 20 minute hike, we reach the start of our climb, the Doos Ridge. Mike tells me what to expect. Mike, we've walked along the shores of Loch Kuros. Fantastic, beautiful setting. And we're at the bottom of the climb. This is the Doos Ridge. That's it, we're on rock from the loch side. And we're heading up there. The secret, Mike tells me, is to keep upright and resist the urge to go on all fours. Stand upright, that's right. it, head above. No, I do feel more of a quadruped, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Simeon Knuckles <laughs> scraping off the rock here. <laughs> there you Faith go, sir. Friction. Faith in friction. <laughs> Faith in friction, here we go. That's the one. And we did it. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I well wouldn't have done that sir. without you. <laughs> That's for sure. Excellent. That's a nice little test piece, isn't it? It is, a test piece. Well, that was quite tricky. Yeah, he did great. I'm not convinced that I need or can take further testing, but the crux of the climb still awaits. To go up, we first need to go down, over a vertical cliff. Good luck, Paul. See Thanks you again very much. <laughs> oh, wow. Mike makes it safely to the bottom. Then it's my turn. That's good. You see, so it is, in fact, just a drop. Yeah, yeah. Free when drop. When you get to the edge of the drop, get your knees against the rock. OK. Like this. Keep my... OK. That's it. And, and then, then just... Then just down a bit, and then you'll get your left foot in under the roof, possibly. Just watch your knuck top knuckles don't crush on the rocks. Uh. I've got you. Hold it there and just let it run. Gradually let that run through your hand. Woohoo! Well done. Yep, well done. Hey, it's burning my hands. OK, Chief. <laughs> well, that was fine. Thank you very much. Well done. After five hours of lung-busting effort, we're almost there, and it just keeps on getting better and better. Wow, I feel on top of the world here. Yeah, look at this view. Leaving Mike to coil the rope, I get to the top ahead of him. Now, the last few feet, one foot in front of another, oh, the end of an exhausting day, because this is the summit of Skur du Moor, which marks the end of my grand tour of the Lochs of Skye. And I have to say, this is a remarkable place to be. Fantastic, if slightly precarious. And the views from here are just absolutely breathtaking. Probably the best views anywhere in Scotland, if not the whole of Great Britain. How's that for drama?